this week on Timberborn. Oh, they're in. Look at those. They look fantastic. Very nice. I thought they would sit on them. Oh, they do sort of come over and contemplate life. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sit on that. That would be a very toasty rear end for a beaver. We could have toasted beavers. That doesn't sound nice at all. Moving on. Oh, wow. Are we actually going to hit 100 beavers in this episode? I think we just might. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Team Beborn with me, Biffa, here in Kettleborn, looking from the Eye of Sauron over our little land of very happy beavers over here. Things are going well. Last episode, we brought it all back. We've managed to survive, get up to over, well, that's exactly 80 beavers. We've got 6.3 days left of a bad tide. I actually remember to close the door so all the stuff goes that way and doesn't kill everybody yes so what is the plan for today i really want to get this up to 15 i want to unlock the iron teeth so we've got that option forever they're available for us into the future i want to look through this list they've suddenly all gone up to 12 could have all gone to bed and see what else we could add to our list without going down some great big huge long production chain now we've got 2.5k of science so we could easily unlock a contemplation spot for only 100 science we're going to do that one we've got a lido which gives them the wet fur ah yes which is good so that means we don't have to have the path going through here like we've got where they're all going in the water um yeah and if this is a bad tide that's a real bad problem that's why we put that little bridge over the top we've also got an agora which two science every what what point two science to one hour i've absolutely no idea what that is we'll unlock it as well why not oh a carousel Yep, we're, unlock we're using so much science. Yep, we're going to do that one there. A dance saw is 1.2. We can't afford that in a mud bath. Well, let's try these things out and find a nice little spot for those. I'm thinking, ah, uh, yeah, I'm thinking I made a huge mistake. In the last episode, I built our tower of power. We can't even see the top of it. There we go. And of course, this drop here needs to be clear all the way down to get the maximum power and yeah i built right around the bottom of it and i've got cogs all around the bottom bottom of it i gotta be honest there's so much power in this thing as we discussed last time fifty-four thousand hamsters per hermit that is exactly right i've googled it and everything that we, i think we're going to be fine when that starts becoming an issue i might rearrange stuff but at the moment i'm not going to be too worried so why don't we try some contemplation spots where they can look out over the land see what's going on enjoy themselves feel better about life let's find a couple of lovely spots to put one of those how about right here we could have like one two three and that means when they're sat in those they can look out over our lovely little inner lake here that'd be fantastic and you know right at the top here overlooking the colony one two three four let's just put a complete row of them all the way along there so they can sit and contemplate how good things are with everything growing in the background there we go already getting them built thank you very much path that's not your name is it zajovunk what a great name oh coming over to do some more building for us rayhan derlabji i hope i got that right thank you very much for supporting me on patreon where you can not only get yourself named as one of our lovely beavers here you can also enjoy our satisfactory series which is just for you lovely beavers we've had so many people joining patreon equal as our frostwolf Julgin, kyle three lee wallace nathan sampson ramona romavax t bought human the third and teshi and many more which i'm sure will pop up as we go along oh they're in look at those they look fantastic very nice i thought they would sit on them oh they do sort of come over and contemplate life oh there we go they're all contemplating things excellent yeah i wouldn't want to sit on that that would be a very toasty rear end for a beaver we could have toasted beavers that doesn't sound nice at all moving on now we've got this area at the back here that's pretty much never going to have any crops and stuff on here i'm wondering whether we could put in some of these other well-being items that we've unlocked so we've got the lido wet for relaxed by the river oh okay that's like a little coastal thing well the only place this can easily fit in is all the way over here by our water storage we can literally fit one is that it okay we'll pop that in there that is going to take 30 planks so we're going to pick a pick of that and attach that up to there there we go 
and then hopefully when they come and enjoy that we could put a little bit of decorating out the front here so they also get that benefit as well how about that oh my goodness everybody's so short on building things they're just rushing over here and getting this stuff done and now they're all going to bed just because i pointed the camera at them thank you very much and they're back good it's the next day they're going mad let's see what this thing looks like i want to see some beavers floating in the water oh look at that that is looking very nice little deck chairs some nice shrubs outside as well absolutely brilliant you can stare at this lovely uh, brick wall over here uh this building needs deeper water to function what how much have we got left 22 yeah, we're not going to be filling all of this up, are we? Pause, 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 pause. We are going to set these ones at the high priority first. Get all of that done. And then these ones are all going to be super... Whoa, not too far. Super low priority. There we go. Apart from this one. High priority. There we go. Excellent. Good, good. I'm also thinking back over here in town. We, we always have enough food. We have plenty of food. Could we up our housing? I think that might be a good idea. If we do that, that, that's up like a whole nother level. Where if we do one, two, and three, that should be okay. We can pick a pick of this here, and we can literally come all the way along and all the way along with the path. And that will give us space for, I can't remember how many beavers that holds. Three, six, nine extra beavers there. And then we've got this, this side as well. We could even do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, using the infrastructure that we already have. That'll be good. And then we could place roofs on top of all of these. So every time a beaver goes to sleep, all of these are going to be getting all the benefits of all of that. And we could even... One, two... Th yep, we could do that as well. Look at that. Excellent. So all of them are going to be getting the benefits. What are these needing, by the way? Planks and logs. What have we got? 219 planks. We've got 724 logs. You can get that done, no problem at all. Oh, 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 okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's detonate this one. Okay, that's deeper water. Are you happy? Nope, still not happy. Fine, let's detonate all of these ones and hope no beavers are in the way. Yay, there we go, excellent. So we've got a lot more, oh, we've got one there. Oink. There we go. So we've got a lot more water storage now down here. I don't know how far down we can go. I know there is a limit at some point. Uh, we will get to that when we get to it. There we go. There's some uh, <laughs> some amazing science from Biffa. What I would like to do all the way over here, Ulkaneth is working in our explosives factory, is I would like to double that up. So if we go into our double platforms and go one, in fact, I'll just go all the way along there. We've got plenty of planks and logs and then that should be enough. Yes, and then we need to go out in front as well. So another row like that. And then we can have our path coming along there and then we can have these on here. And we could even have two, we could have three. Oh, wow, look at that. There we go, that'll work nicely. That'll go into the back there and attach to all of those. We've got plenty of bad water that's being picked up. And then we need to add another wheel in as well, don't we? All oh, completely forgot about that. Could we add? No, we couldn't. Yeah, I think this will be okay. We'll just go with the two for now. And because these two connect into there and then go through here, it's going to share all the power anyway. So that's fine. We'll do that. Um, I'm really hoping they can reach all of these with that crawling in the water that is the only issue if i up the priority on these these and these 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 and these to max and then we'll get these on sort of medium that on whatever uh these also then have to be on a higher priority so they get done otherwise nothing will get done all the way along there and all the way along there i think that's probably it we'll see what happens and the bad tide has ended fantastic and because i'm a complete star i remembered about doing all of this <laughs> this time this time so we're going to open this up oh i've let a little bit of nasty stuff i always get a little bit of nasty stuff in there don't we that's just the way it goes um also if we just lift these up a little bit and block that off then the water is more likely to come through here which makes this faster 
which is good. And it also will then flood everything. So we'll drop that down a tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, I think I probably need more gates on here. I'm just wondering, actually, whether we could just do that. Because this is something that's been a problem for a while. I've been told that if you've got this many water sources then you need like half the amount of these triple flood gates or whatever the equivalent is that you're using. So maybe we'll give that a go. I can immediately tell that as soon as I delete these, it's all going to overflow and go everywhere. Maybe we'll just hang fire on that <laughs> until we've got other jobs done. Yeah, let's let's wait. Let's wait until this is done. Oh, they can reach. Excellent. That is good news. Seems like we have a slight issue. This here, this platform can't be reached. I've, I've opened all this up. I'm afraid someone is going to have to get down into the water. If I pop that in, will they then be able to reach it? And whoever gets sick, we do have 39 antidotes to help solve that problem. Let's see who that's going to be. There we go. It's Zovajuk. Zodjavuk. Sorry, got your name wrong. So let's hopefully see that that goes in and now you can reach this. Too far from the district and cannot be reached. What the heck? We're going to have to get... No. Oh, no, I don't want that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want this to go to here. And then what? Are you expecting me to, like, do this all the way around? Can you not walk through something like that? I mean, seriously, come on. Well, at least we've got two of the explosives factories going. We've got Equalizer working in here and Donadour. Donador working in there, which is great. And they're both working at 100%. So we have, well, 81%. It's close, it's close. It will be over 100% once we get all of these things hooked up. So while they're working at how to do all of that, I want to get some more nice luxury items in here. We're going to put a path all the way along the top here. And who wouldn't want to overlook the bad water and enjoy one of these things? We've got the carousel. That thing just looks absolutely brilliant. Where's the access to it? We're going to face that that way. And the Agora must be built on the ground. What? the heck is this thing that's huge okay we're gonna swap these around the agora is gonna go there look at the size of it we'll leave a little bit of a gap of two yeah in case we need some more storage of these look at that that is perfect oh that is that is just looking absolutely brilliant so this has suddenly become the place where you come to hang out what does this need planks and logs metal blocks get oh good grief metal blocks six uh we need 40 gears We've got three planks. We've got a lot. Okay, they're going to be building very slowly. They're going to be on the lowest priority. These are in, and you're still telling me you can't reach that. This is extremely annoying. And yeah, they're all going in the bad water. But now you can at least build these things over here. Fantastic. And you'll get yourself all cured up afterwards, I'm sure. It's done. Excellent. Very good. And then we'll just get one of these back in here, like so. Why is that not going in now? It went in before. Oh, I know. We've got this in here. There we go. Excellent. And that can be reached. Very good. Very good. And now we've got three of these. 94 beavers. Good grief. Oh, wow. Are we actually going to hit 100 beavers in this episode? I think we just might. Here we go. Two beaver statues and a shrub, which will give a little bonus around here as well for all of those walking past. Excellent. And I put the roofs on top of here. We're up to 70, 80, 96 beavers. Good grief. We are soon going to be hitting 100. So now they're going to be built. Oh, it's in the Agora. Good grief. Let's have a look at this thing. Are they going to be coming in here to enjoy this? It's just like a little place they can sit down, have a chat, have their little beaver meetings, discuss things that are going to be happening. Oh, what's that? Oh, you get a little tingly sounds as well. Oh, that is brilliant. So as soon as they start using this, they're going to get the social life agora going up, which is absolutely brilliant. And then we've got the carousel. I don't think we're going to be too far off, you know, hitting level 15. And then also what we're going to need, I think, is to change up some of the food a little bit to give them that added bonus of the different types of food. Oh, this is all in. This is all working. Excellent. So what have we got now? We are making 362. So with this needing whatever it needs, I can't remember. Can we put another one in? I don't think we can just yet, but three will keep us going for ages. Oh, what do you think of the new Agora that's gone in? Does anybody want to go up there and actually use it? Not yet. They're still busy. Oh, this is working as well. We've gone deep enough for this. Oh, for, oh, what are they doing? They're literally swimming up and down on their back and enjoying... Oh, the what is it? The Lido, isn't it? The Lido. Oh, brilliant. That is great. 
So I'm wondering whether we could add another one over here. If we could just add like a little platform in and really make use of this space, I think that'd be a good idea. And I'm thinking I want to check the hedges out here and see what they... Oh, they look nice. Can I rotate them? I can. We can like put them alongside there like that. So they get the hedge bonus when they come into there. That looks really nice. Uh, we've got wooden fence. Maybe something else. A shrub. Is all a, a bench. There we go. A bench. You can. Oh no! <laughs> that is completely facing the wrong way. Let's try that again. Bench, bench. I want it to face this way. Oh, it did. It did. No. Oh, it is. It's not. It is. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. We'll get there in the end. Anybody enjoying the agora up here? Oh, it needs extract. What? What are they doing in this thing? So it looks like we need the centrifuge, which will take our bad water, which we've got plenty of, logs, take a certain amount of time and give us extract. So we need a lot of cogs, a lot of metal, a lot of planks for that. So we need to get our cogs and our metal block production going up. But let's unlock that and see how big this building is. It's not too big. I feel like I don't want to add it over here because all of our power stuff is over here okay i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab these and bring those all the way down there then we're gonna run them along here although i probably don't need to go that far because then i want to bring the power out the back so then we can double up on any power machines that go in here and do it that way because then what we could do is actually let's put in the centrifuge first so if we go around that way that connects to the path so that's okay but then we need a power coming through here so i think that one there something like that so the power is now up in the air then it comes down comes into here and then we can connect any point along here and along here and have all sorts of other power buildings in there we're still far away enough from this that that can drop down into that gap yeah these other things will work on and then once this is done we can just hook this in over here so i think that will be good to go yeah we do have quite a lot of contaminated beavers we've got 12 at the moment but we do have 22 antidote oh look the amount of injured beavers is go oh, the contaminated beavers is going down we're down to three which is fantastic and i don't think anybody's died because of it died of old age died of old age well you know but lots of new ones being born where's died of old age hey, old age old age if you're beaver and you're gonna go you want to go die of old age don't you or maybe not at all i don't know but anyway uh let's get in here the extract we're gonna have that as extract and we're gonna say that's gonna supply to other warehouses then all the way over here we're going to have this one at the front also having extract and this one's going to be <laughs> can't see what it says retain attain is it attain i'm assuming it's attain i don't know and then this one here we're going to have as another one with bad water there we go because we're going to be using a heck of a lot of that with all of the tnt stuff going on so hopefully oh and this needs oh i think over here we need to put some centrifuge takes bad water we're gonna have another one of these then we're gonna have this one with bad water and have this as attain <laughs> retrain retrain whatever it says large cursor can't see and then we'll have this one as supply there we go excellent we are a little bit low i think our bad water pump it's not quite keeping up Maybe we can add another one of those. We need more beavers. We have three beavers with no jobs. Excellent. We've hit 100 beavers. We've done it. That is fan flipping tastic. Um, could we maybe fit that in there if we jiggled things around a bit like this? We could. There we go. We'll pop that in. That needs metal blocks as well. So we'll put that on a slightly lower priority. So this thing gets done over here. Now we've got beavers without a job. I want more of these being what have we got what have we got we've got 45 of these actually so what's really holding us up is this machine here isn't quite i mean it's a hundred percent but it's really slow on making the blocks i'm going to prioritize my haulers to really give you a chance just to work there constantly but i am now wondering whether another oh it's gone in it's gone in fantastic what i was going to say was another smelter could be popped in and that would literally fit right in there. Or we could have it round like this way and start going up here with our machines. But I feel like I want to use the space that we've got. I'm going to go there and we'll get that going as well. And that will just get the power from this. I really could have just brought this power down and in here, couldn't I? I, I don't know. We just had a bit of fun. We <laughs> build what we like. <laughs> 
and it all works out in the end. You need scrap metal gears and planks. Gear production's a bit slow. We do have another smelter. Oh, good grief. That means we'll have three smelters. Oh, look at this thing going. It is hubba bubbling along. We've got Donador and Dejunua working in here. Fantastic. Making the extract for us. And then we come all the way over here and have prioritize. Oh, we've got some extract. <gasps> we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Prioritize building by haulers. Hold in the extract. We've got 10. We've got people using the Agora. Oh, and now we have a drought approaching. Excellent. Well, we've got 3.2 thousand drops of water. Plenty of food. <gasps> it's in. Supply will last for 50 hours. Who are going to be the first beavers to come and use the Agora? Someone's got in there. They're burning the extract. Who is it? We have got Tangin. Excellent. Tangin's had enough. They're off. Zer. <laughs> These names. <laughs> Zerbridge. What? They're not singing a song or something. They are. <laughs> Timezzi. <laughs> They're humming and singing. What the heck is going on? Okay. We've got the Agora bonus. I don't know. Um, we need to get a lot of beavers in here to be using that. And then we want the carousel up as well so they can get that bonus. Oh, good grief. And then see, I, I don't know if we're going to get to the 15. Are we going to make it in this episode? i tell you what we're going to do. We are going to mix up some of the farming a little bit over here. Um, we are going to take out a lot of these carrots. What are these down here? Sunflowers. We'll keep those in. And I'm going to replace these with, uh, not that one, this one over here with wheat. And we're going to see if we can get down the wheat chain and yeah, get that bonus. There we go. Potatoes are gone and the wheat is in. Please get that planted for us as soon as you can. Oh, they're so good. They are just so quick and efficient. Fantastic. And what do we need to get that thing working? Well, first of all, we need 10 days. Um, 10 days, 1% three. So in 10 days, we'll get a load of wheat. Then we have the grist mill, which will turn the wheat. And also, oh man, this cattail root, this large cursor is getting in the way, isn't it? Into flour. So we're going to definitely unlock that. And then we'll have the bakery, which will take our different types of flour with some wood and make some bread for us. How big is this? Oh, is this going to need power? Darn it, it needs power. Zoinking ourselves all the way over here, and we can start hooking into some of these. That is a pretty big machine. If I pop that there, we can then do something with the cogs around the back to get that hooked in. And then our bakery, does that also need power? It doesn't look like it. So I want to pop the bakery somewhere where we're not too worried about the power, which I'm thinking they're going to be running around a lot to carry it, but up there. That's where it's going to go. And then we can put the various storages in we need to get all the things where we need them. Right, the drought has started. It's going to be eight days. So what I've got set up here is we have a medium warehouse to store all of our wheat when that gets plucked from the ground. And then all the way over here by our grist mill, we've got a small little warehouse here obtaining this wheat. And then when that makes uh, the flour, we've got the flour there, which is going to be supplied. And then that's going to be supplied all the way over here. That is going to bring in the wheat that we need. And that will make the stuff for us. So that's going to make bread. There we go. So we've got Cranoir is going to be working there. Uh, this one is going to be making wheat flour. There we go. We've got Oudaboo going to be working there. And I'm going to prioritize that by haulers. We need more haulers as well. That is something. That's a builder's hut. That is something that we're really struggling with. So one, two. I'm going to put jobs in all of those haulers um are all of my haulers over here completely filled up that's filled up that's filled up yes so maybe we just need another haulers why not and we could perhaps pop that one mm, 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 mm. i don't think it really matters where it goes um, I think it just needs to be somewhere so they can say they've got that job. So I'm going to go there and then we're going to get this path here and that's just going to come all the way down and then that will give us the option of adding in another 10 haulers, which will be good. What are you waiting for? Oh yeah, you can't connect, can you? Let's just connect you up. Have you got a particular place where it goes in? Oh, I don't believe it. Seriously, it won't just connect anywhere. It only connects there. Oh, Gosh darn it, that is a pain in the backside. Oh, I don't know. It's looking like it will connect anywhere. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one there. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to put this in and see what it says. 
I mean, too far from the district cannot be reached by... Okay, that's fine. I'll put you in there anyway, and I'll delete you, and then they'll be able to reach that, won't they? Yeah, and I think that'll be fine. Let's just put that on maximum priority, because why the heck not? And is it going to work? Yes, it works. Excellent. We'll pop that one in there, get that 100% priority. Cool beans. Okay, so you won't be sat on your tail, oodaboo, doing nothing. Oh, we're up to 13. <gasps> we're so close. Oh, the carousel is in. Isn't connected to any district via paths. What the heck? The path is up the top and it needs power to operate. Oh, okay. Well, that's not the end of the world. We can get that sorted. Oh, they're loving the Agora. There's so many in there. We're up to 14. I think the more of them that go in, I think these effects last for longer. So if we actually have a look at a beaver who's got... Oh, you've got 20. No way. So I think when you get these, that they last for a certain amount of time. So as long as different beavers come in and use these items, then those benefits will last longer, which is good. So we could easily get up to 15 if we get this stuff built and the drought's over and we get this thing powered up. That'd be cool. Just thinking, is there some way I can connect my two power grids? Because we've got these ones here that aren't don't work, you know, they're not gonna work in a drought. They're not working. And then we've got all of this which is connected up, which is using the power stored in here. And oh, we can see that they're dropping down. So eventually these are gonna stop. That one is gonna go straight down there. So I'll tell you what we're gonna pop in there, and we can actually do triple dynamite. So we're gonna go there and there and get those in and we could do it here as well let's grab that there and there and we could do it on this one let's go there and there and this one we can't do because i was a bonehead and put this water thing above it i could actually move that water thing up to here instead what's that gonna take a load of gears and stuff yeah let's get that done we'll have this to obtain that to send out oh <gasps> We've done it. We've done it. New faction unlocked. Iron teeth. Our beavers are happier than ever. Oh, that is fantastic. Apart from Mahaniel, we died of old age. Sorry, Mahaniel. I do apologize. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, things are going in. Things are going in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I should see what it was going to give us before and after. That'd be interesting. Let's just pause and have a look. 13378. There we go. 21364. Wow, that is a huge. A 13364. 21. That is a huge amount extra, isn't it? And can we go any lower than that? Or is that the lowest we can go? I can't believe we finally got the iron teeth. So for our next season, when that happens, but it's not happening yet. We've got so many more things to do. But when that happens, oh, oh, we can add in more. Let's try that. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, so when that happens, we can do iron teeth. So this is emptying, which is good. Don't know where it's being emptied to. Oh, let's add water into here. There we go. Oh, they are as well. Man alive, how low can we go with these? Let's do some more. So this is going to be, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll detonate that, click on that, and unpause and watch this number go up. Oh, that's just fantastic. I'm going to keep going down. And two more. 16406 up to 20. Oh, this is looking like a slightly different colour down there. Let's see whether... Can it be built at the bottom of the map? So there we go. We're at the lowest and we're at the lowest there. Okay, so we just need this thing to be emptied out. Uh, what does that one there do? Empty goods. Yeah, okay. Let's just empty that instead. Oh, my goodness me. They're going mad. <laughs> Thank you, haulers. You're doing a great job. It's empty. Very good. We'll delete that. And then we could do the same over here. So looking at how we've got things laid out over here, I reckon we could hook in here like this. And then we could come straight up. So we're going to take out that line there. Thank you very much. So then we can bring this along here. We could then build it up and go over the top of that. And then we could literally come straight up there, hook into here somehow. It might be that we need to sort of go around the side and around the back. But here, we're so close. There'll be some way of working it up and over the top. And then we've only got to hook into like here. Like this, like this, like that. And another one there. Is that going to go up and round? I think it would. And that would just connect up our entire power system. That would be brilliant. There we go. Excellent. And then all we need to do is add in the little items that we need to get up and over. Bonk. 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 Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, let's hope this attaches here. 
Bonk. No, it's blocked. Um, that's okay. If we remove that, we've got space. Yeah, then we can just bonk in one of these. Come on. Is there a path there? I think there might be. Oh, there's a path because of the door. Oh, darn it. Um, we can go in over the side here. Right, we'll get there. And round to there. That's good. Over the top, down here. Then we just need to remove some of these trees. Bonk, 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 bonk. All the way in, all the way down, all the way along here, all the way there. Get the corner piece in. We are using up our entire log supply to get this thing done. But I think it's definitely going to be worth it. I want one of those. No, nope, one of those, one of those, one of those. You're just not going to give me what I need, are you? Okay, we'll go with this then. There we go. And then one of those. Oh, and that'll be it. And that will get our power batteries. I bet you can't be reached, can you? Gosh darn it, game. You will be the flipping thing that kills me. Let's just delete this thing. And I think we've got that all hooked up. This is turning. That's all turning. It's all up here. It's all, it is all hooked up. Brilliant. So that's all of these when they're working are connected with all of that. Everything is connected to everything apart from this. I don't mind this one just being connected to that. That's fine. Um, the drought has ended. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Oh, do you know what? The drought would have been a perfect time to sort this out, but we'll do that next time. Also, all of our wind storage. So what we want to see now is these things being lifted back up again, because at the minute, they're all the way down in the hole. That is all the way down there. That's all the way down there. The only one that isn't all the way down there is this one, because we <laughs> forgot to put the TNT in. And unfortunately, until it lifts up, um, I can't click under there to put the TNT in, darn it. But I'm going to try and help things out a bit by getting some more windmills around the place. Um, that should go there, but it won't. So let's just turn that around. So it will go right next to it this side, but not this side. I know these need to be changed out for the different shape ones, but that's really weird, isn't it? Okay, well, never mind. They're happy to go in. I'll just connect these up. So we're going to make use of this little piece of land at the back here and get four more windmills on there. For some reason, they'll go right up to it this side, but not right up to it that side. I don't know why. And then we do want to constrict this water at some point. We'll, we'll get to that. But hopefully, yeah, you see, power is going to be a big issue <laughs> now that we've done this. And we're relying on wind power and these things that don't work very well, which was a little bit of a faux pas on my behalf. Oh, so maybe the next thing that we need to look at is properly sorting our power because at the minute we're struggling. But I think sorting the power is going to be a job for next time because we achieved our goal for this episode, unlocking the iron teeth. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, please leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.